Hello, hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, today we are going to be taking a look at actually uh, locating your targets when you are doing assassination missions. This is something that I've had requested, so we are going to be taking a look at this. So, first of all, we're going to go see if we can find any assassination missions on the local bulletin board. Uh, there's none here. We do have, there is one down here, but it is unavailable because that faction doesn't trust us. Well, that's fine, because here's one I made earlier. We have to go and, uh, take out a, a target called, uh, Kafira, and they are in the, they are possibly in the known locations of, uh, Col 285, Sector, whatever, LHS 3705, and the other Col uh, Sector. Now, what we've got to do is, first of all, we've got to go and head over to those, to one of them, we've got to pick one of those systems and start going to uh, go through that area with a fine tooth comb. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go and have a look at LHS 3705 just because it's easier for me to to actually find it on the navigation panel. There we go. LHS 3705. So let's launch and let's get over to that system. So we're out of mass lock and we are charging the jump drives. So let's get over to the uh, to the system and start looking for our mark. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit away from the main star in this system, just because I don't want to risk the possibility of fighting next to a star, just because I don't want to heat overheat too much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down to. 30 kilometers a second and I am going to go and have a look over at the navigation panel scrolling all the way to the top and what we're looking for is these unidentified signal sources so let's target this one where is it it's behind us right is that another one there yep another unidentified signal source in front of us so, let's drop into this one. Now, what have we got? We've got a hauler and a sidewinder. And look at that. We've actually found the uh, straightaway first time. We've actually found the... the ship that actually knows where our target is. And what this has done is if we look over it again into the transactions, we can see that the Eliminate uh, Kafira has uh, been updated. So we'll go in there and you'll see that uh, the systems tab, the systems uh, section, has actually been updated with the system that they are in. In this case, it means that uh, they are actually in this system. So what we need to do is we need to go and jump back out of, back out into frame shift, and have a look for our target. So what we need to do is get back into f into uh, super cruise. And again, we need to throttle all the way down again and have a look back over into the navigation section. And always stay scrolled up to the top because the top is the closest point to you. And after a while, you will start seeing unidentified signal sources popping up here. Now, the reason that I am actually throttling all the way down is that um, unidentified signal sources show up at uh, a variety of different distances. But that the distance that they show up is based on your speed. 
And here we go. We have a strong signal source here, but this is not what we are after. Strong signal sources are completely different to um, unidentified signal sources. So that is not what we are after. We actually specifically want unidentified signal sources. And also, we do not want weak signal sources because they are nothing to do with this. Now, at the moment, this uh, tutorial is pretty much only a stopgap measure for the moment. Because according to Frontier Development, they are actually going to be overhauling how all this works. So, you may be watching this video in the in the, the months that follow it's actually being released uh, and uh, by that point the the information may actually be a little bit obsolete so just bear that in mind and here we go we have found our next unidentified signal source and there it is so we turn to face it and we can pretty much drop out straight away because of the way we were flying around at low speed throttle back up again and after we're inside, we'll have a look around, see what we can find. And there's an anaconda. And is that the person that we want? Yep, that is them. So, we have been extremely lucky this time, and actually, f uh, I've only been into two unidentified signal sources this entire time. So, I will scan him, go over to his sub to sub targets, and target the power plant. And now, let's get the actual weapons out. And let's take this guy on. <laughs> right, so he's thrown up chaff, so unselect. We'll jump deselecting, which t basically turns my turreted, my gimbaled weapons back into fixed. So I can retarget him again. Now, the only downside to this is that I have now unselected his power plant and will have to go and select it manually again. So, where's he gone? There he is. And this guy, thankfully, is only dangerous. He's not actually elite. So, me mucking about like this is really not a big problem. And this is actually the first anaconda that I've taken I'm try, taking on in my federal dropship. So let's, let's drop some more chaff and start opening up with our multi cannons. And there we go, that really was not that hard, actually. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I was expecting this to be in this ship. With so many people complaining about the Federal dropship, I was getting a little bit worried, but I am liking this ship so far. The only thing that's bothering me about it is the jump range. But anyway, I'm getting off the topic now. But yes, so that is pretty much how you go about finding your target in assassination missions. Now there are, there is um, the, the chance that those missions might bug out at the moment. Because what can happen is that uh, if you jump into an unidentified signal source and you come across an NPC that uh, says it basically tries to, dis to stop you from finding your target and they give you an alternate target. The problem with what happens then is that the mission can bug out and your original target might not appear. So if that's the case you may end up having to abandon the mission but I don't know how bad that bug actually is or how often it happens. I've had it happen to me a couple of times but just unfortunately not whilst I was recording for this. Okay, so that's pretty much how you go about finding your target for assassination missions. Now, as I said, in a month or two's time, this information may be uh, completely outdated because Frontier Development are, have said that they are going to do a complete and utter overhaul of the mission system. 
So please bear that in mind when you're watching this video. Just uh, it, <laughs> the date, the, the information in this video is not going to be not going to be relevant for that long. But I wanted to get it out there. Now, after we have uh, <laughs> taken out and successfully found our assassination uh, target, we can go and give the mission back to get our reward. And then after that, we can go and have a look in the contacts, into the security office, and pick up the bounty that we actually had on them. So, that was nice. But anyway, guys, I do hope this video was useful to you. Uh, if so, please do consider hitting that like button. It really does help the channel out. And also, to join the Wolf Pack, do hit that uh, big subscribe button. And you'll get uh, notifications of whenever I release new content. But anyway, Commanders, until next time, keep flying and stay shiny.